I honor and acknowledge our gatherers of knowledge, Angela, Becky, Elder Sheila, Debbie, Claudette, and Amanda. We will be sharing our streams of knowledge and honoring the wise women, two of which are with us today and who will be sharing their personal canvases and journeys with us. We will witness teachings, the power of visual communication, and share how working on the land and being with the land was the right way to gather this knowledge. So first, I think it's very important that everyone knows that women represent nearly one quarter of all people living with HIV in Canada. And 86% of females living with HIV in Canada are Indigenous, Black, or other women of colour. And, and it differs so much from the statistics that we have for males, where 42% are white. And so the experience of living with HIV in Canada is a distinctly different one um, if you are a woman than if you are a man. So we know that women living with HIV in Canada today have a much shorter life expectancy than men living with HIV. So in response to what we were seeing in terms of these patterns, we launched the CHIWO study in 2010. And CHIWO stands for the Canadian HIV Women's Sexual and Reproductive Health Cohort Study. Um, and it is the largest community-based cohort study of women living with HIV, both trans and cis inclusive in Canada. We worked in collaboration as allies and women living with HIV as core partners across all stages of the research. So including identifying what are the research objectives of priority? How are we going to recruit women? What kind of data collection bases and approaches can we undertake that are going to be safe for women that are not going to cause unnecessary activation? What types of activities that do we need to commit to, to ensure that we were sharing what we were learning back with women living with HIV, including our participants. We came to our overarching question, how do Indigenous women living with HIV in the Coast Salish territories understand their health and well-being through traditional ways of knowing? We asked women to think about this complex question in several different ways. We were rooted in ceremony. As we connected with the lands and waters where the Kwantlen ancestors walked before us, memories of teachings flooded the women with blood memories. These are memories from generations before us that we carry until needed and memories of teachings from the relatives. These knowledges were shared in our sharing circles and on the collective and personal canvases. Each day was closed with a closing circle and ceremony. Our responsibility is to build the roads so others can travel them. We must indigenize our research from beginning to conclusion. Through this lens of two-eyed seeing, we weave these worldviews together with our traditional ways and the learnings from the Western world. We're using indigenizing rather than decolonizing research. As we were here before, the colonists and indigenizing is strength-based and with the foundation of positivity. We indigenizing the research language, codebook now became vessels that honor the voices. Themes became streams, sub-themes are now creeks. Thematic analysis, uh-uh, honoring voices. Knowledge translation exchange is now around the fire. Participants, we changed to wise women, recognizing that they are much more than a participant ID in a study, but wise women, community experts who are gifting their knowledge, their histories and teachings to your research project. This is my canvas, my individual canvas that I did. And in the center of my canvas is the tree. You see the green tree and within that, is the solid trunk of the tree and that represents me myself with all the knowledge that I've been learning you can see in the paint you can see the old tree and the young tree this just signifies how I am grounded my own roots individually as how I express myself through color through nature and all these things and how I see myself that I'm that trunk and I'm the knowledge keeper and when Val speaks about the circular thing about my health, you can see on the bottom of my canvas there, there's a circle right beside the old bark and there, yeah, thank you. And that's me in returning to ceremony and sweat and the things that I knew that I did when I was younger to strengthen my spirit and help me walk in balance. <laughs> 